in this video I'll try and show you how to uh, set up um, uh, debugging your C sharp code uh, for Go dot for all your Go dot projects directly from Visual Studio 2022. So the reason why I'm doing this video, in fact, is because um, I tried searching for uh, an information like this on YouTube and couldn't get one. But I found one for Visual Studio 2019. So anyway, um, this is what we want. So this is a scene. I'll just show you our target for for the whole uh, video tutorial. So um, what I can do right now, because I've already set it up for this video, uh, for this particular project. So um, this is my C sharp script. I can double click right on it and it takes me directly to um, to my Visual Studio 2022. And you can see I have play in Go dot already here. So if I should put a, a break point here, you will see that if I hit play, oh, okay, Go dot is was already running, but it doesn't matter. Even if it's not running, it will still run Go dot. And you can see we have hit that breakpoint, and the application is running right now. So um, let, let let's just go back to Visual Studio, and uh, if I hit continue, you will see that it, it continues running. And so it doesn't matter even if uh, Go dot isn't running. So let me just terminate that. Let me terminate this. So I've closed, as you can see, I've closed, I've terminated Go dot. If I come over here and hit play, you will see that it starts up Go dot by itself and uh, it hits that big point and you can debug your... So this is what I'm, I'll am i try and show you how I set this up. So um, let me just, uh, let me close, let's go ahead and close that. So um, if you... If you uh, check out this tutorial, there's a this is where I got the information. Um, I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link in down in the description so uh, you can check it out. So this is where I got the information. Just in case you want to uh, you want to check it out. So um, first thing is uh, there are a couple of steps you need to follow. Okay, so number one is you need to make sure you download go dot for um go dot for 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 net so there are two versions there's the normal go dot and there's the one they call mono something something so in the name you'll see mono or you probably see something like that just make sure in the download i think when you go to download go dot there are two versions there's the uh that is apart from the x64 and uh and x86 versions there are there are um other uh, there, there there's another version entirely that's for um that's for mono that's for .NET either x6 it also has the different for x64 and uh, x86 so um you go ahead I'll just go ahead and create a new project so uh I'll let me just create it here for now. Um, new game project uh, Okay, so I can't create it there. So I'll just have to change So I'll put it here. I'll just put it down here. So I correct folder So I'll put it directly here and uh, ah. name. Okay, so let's give it a name new game and I'll choose create folder so it has created a folder for me and I'll choose create and exit so um, normally if you create your go dot project as you can see um, it, it, it will take some time to come up let it just come up so um, right now uh, the first thing oh, okay I think I've missed one step so uh, Okay, maybe, maybe not. So before you even create your project, maybe the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you link your Godot engine directly to Visual Studio so that whenever you uh, you double click on any of your C Sharp scripts, it directly opens Visual Studio for you. So you do that by going to Project, um, Project Settings, you scroll down to... Um, 
uh, where is it? There should be dot net somewhere. Editor. Uh, the editor. It should be down here. No, it's not here. Uh, okay. So I have to look for it. Oh, okay. I think it's probably not here. It should be on the editor. Sorry, we went to project. Okay, so it should be on the editor. Editor settings. And you scroll down to uh, .NET. So this is it. I think if you have the uh, go dot for the normal one, not for .NET, you might not see this. So make sure uh, if you don't see this, make sure you are opening the uh, go dot for mono. So you hit on editor and you come down to external editor and you choose Visual Studio. Okay. And then for the custom uh, ex uh, executable path, you go and select your um, Visual Studio um, executable. So in case you don't know where it is, normally if you uh, install it in the default um, location, uh, usually from uh, directly, it's normally somewhere in C program files, Microsoft Visual Studio, uh, you see a 2022 uh, folder. That's if your if your version is 2022, uh, you enter community slash common seven slash. This is where you might find it difficult uh, to locate it, but make sure you enter community slash common seven slash IDE, and then. Inside the IDE, you see a couple of executables, but the correct one is this dev dev env.exe. Okay, so that's the correct uh, one. So you go ahead and select that. So this is just this setup. You do this only once, irrespective of uh, uh, what project you're going to open. So once you do this once, uh, you will never do it again. There are some other steps later. You will see that whenever you want to start a new project, uh, you have to redo the steps. But for this step, it's once and for all. Okay, so um, that's step one. And then for step two, um, you need to go to Visual Studio. So let's let's minimize this. Open up our Visual Studio, and. Uh, uh, Okay, okay, okay. Before we even open Visual Studio, I think there's something we need. Uh, okay, let's go to Visual Studio first and see. Do we have... So, what I want us to do is we check if we have installed extensions for Godot. So, go up here to extensions and click on manage extensions, okay? So, uh, and then select installed. This particular tab. Now, if you have already installed the Godot extension, you'll see it's showing here. But if you haven't, you will not see it here. So I believe if you're doing this for the first time, most likely you have not yet installed it. So to install it, you will have to go to um, this GitHub link. I'll also put this link in the description. So it's uh, Godot engine slash Godot C sharp Visual Studio. That's the name of the repository. If you go to GitHub, um, it you select you download the version two point zero point zero. So uh, this is the one you download. That's the already built um, uh, file. So you go ahead and click this and download. When you're done, it's it's going to show up with this kind of icon. You double click it and it will install. Okay. So when uh, when you want to install, it, make sure Visual Studio is not running. You go ahead and double click and install it. Once it's done installation, if you open up your Visual Studio and you come back to extensions and manage extensions, you uh, under installed, you'll see that you've already installed the Godot support. So um, that's step two. And then step three, uh, after that, we're almost done. I think the only thing uh, left, oh, okay, before we, um, come back to Visual Studio, we'll have to go back to Godot, okay? So this first um, first few steps that I just showed you is once and for all. You'll never have to do it again. Now, the step I'm going to show you now is whenever you want to start a fresh uh, project 
from uh, Godot. So you will have to go to Godot and create your new project. So I'll go ahead. Oh, okay. So like this project, for example, is a completely new project. I'll go ahead and choose, let's say it's a 3D, uh, 3D scene. And uh, okay, you'll need to create a script. Okay. There's a reason. It's so that uh, uh, Godot will create the build files for you. That's the CS, uh, .cs project file and a .sln solution file that you will open in Visual Studio. So you go ahead and create a new script. Make sure it's uh, C sharp. So you select C sharp and then uh, I'll give it a name. Inherit node. Make sure it uh, inherits node because we're going to attach it to a node. So I'll give it a class name. Um, uh, where do I select the class name? I'm also new to go dot anyway. I'm coming from from uh, Unity, so uh, I'm not sure why we can't why I can't select a class name yet. I think I selected the class name anyway. Let's just go ahead and create that. So it's calling it new script. Uh, I'll take this new script and attach it to node. So the reason why, like I said before, you need to attach the script to, it doesn't have to be this parent node 3D. It can be any other node in your scene. Just make sure it is active, the script is active. Then when you do that, you go ahead and run your scene. So uh, the reason you want to run the scene, okay, go ahead and save the scene so that you can run it. So you can see it's saying it's building the .NET uh, project. So when it's done building, what will happen is that it's going to uh, create your, okay, already it's, it's already running. So you can go ahead and terminate that. So it's going to create your .cs project file, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and um, open up that CS project file in Visual Studio. So um, I'll locate where I saved this Godot project. So this is the next step now. I put it in D, I think I put it somewhere here. Let's see if I can remember. Uh, new game, yeah, this is it. So like I said, you can see you have a new game.cs project and a new game.sln. Now is the solution file you you want to open, okay? Not the project file. So I'll go ahead and double click the solution file. Uh, it opens up Visual Studio because we've already linked up our Visual Studio to. Um, so for now, if you notice, all it's saying is this new game. If you hit on play, it will give you this error. Okay. So the reason is because you don't have a launch profile. So you will have to create a new launch profile for this particular um, project. So you go ahead and right click on the project. Notice there's a solution here and there's a project here. So it's the project I'm going to right click on. I'll right click on the project file and go to properties. And then from properties, I'll go to debug. And then from debug, I choose open debug launch profiles UI. And then I create a new profile. So this this icon is for creating a new profile. I choose executable. There are two types of profiles, either project or executable. You go ahead and choose executable. And you can also rename. So this is the icon for renaming the profile. So I, I'll just go ahead and do that. And I'll change this profile to, let's say, start in Visual Studio. Uh, sorry, start in Godot. Okay, and then um, we'll hit enter. So you click on the profile and then you're going to here under executable, you browse your Godot um, folder uh, for uh, executable um, file. Now you make sure you're selecting the, uh, the correct one, that's the mono one. Like for example, now if you go out You'll see that I have two versions of the Godot. I have the stable, that's the normal Godot. This is the normal Godot. And then there's the there's the one for the mono. Like I told you, this is the one for .NET. So make sure you are selecting the correct one. So you go ahead and select this. Click open. 
and then uh, on the command line arguments let's go back to that uh, to that um, uh, instructions so the this like I told you this is where I got all the instructions so you're going to choose path and verbose so you're going to give it command line arguments path this dot just means current path so we're going to do the same thing here dot, uh, uh, these, these are two hyphens put path a space a full stop and then a space two hyphens and verbose so the verbose will allow the out uh, will allow it to output as many um, uh, um, uh, it will output as many info as possible when it's starting of the program then the working directory is just going to be a full stop that's current directory and then um, what else what else uh, there's one more thing okay if you like you can enable native code debugging or not I think they said there were some make sure you read that information uh, that's um, let's go back there uh, this so make sure you read this uh, it's saying if you enable native code debugging uh, if you if you leave it disabled it's going to allow hot reload now I don't even know what that hot reload means but I think it means you can uh, make edit in go dot and then come back to Visual Studio and see the edit or something like that without having to uh, close uh, either of them but I'm not sure anyway anyway me I keep the I, I enable the native code debugging just so I get more error messages in my in my visual studio so that's it uh, for now you can go ahead and delete this so there's the icon for delete so I deleted the other profile and this is the profile I created just now go ahead and close this so now you can see we now have this starting go dot this is the new profile that we just created so if you click on play right now you'll see that uh, can't run project okay yeah uh, it's a good thing we encountered this error. So the error is quite um, uh, uh, self-explanatory. It's saying Cantron project, no main scene defined in the project. This means that you did not set a main scene in your visual uh, in your Go dot project. So we just go back to the Go dot project and uh, right click on this node scene. So remember, we created a scene and we saved the scene. So you might have five scenes. Okay. Visual Studio does not know which scene should it run first. Okay, so you have to select from Godot, you have to select a particular scene as your main scene so that Visual Studio can run whatever scene, uh, that particular scene when it starts up. So you just come here, right click on this scene, and choose set as main scene. Okay, and that's it. So we go ahead and go back to Visual Studio. Now, if you hit that, voila, you have your um your c sharp code is running uh you'll be able to debug just to make sure it's working fine you can debug you go back to to this open the script and we're going to put a a break here and then we're going to say uh by the way let's close this let's terminate go dot entirely so go ahead and hit this and it should hit that breakpoint exactly. So we've hit that breakpoint. If we say continue, it continues running. Okay. So this is how you do it. Um, I hope it's helpful because it, I really needed this because um, uh, I'm coming, like I said, I'm coming from Unity after what Unity did. We all know what they did. Anyway, I'll put the uh, description, uh, all those. Um, information I said I would give, I'll put it down in the description.